thanks for the 17 months that you care for me and you gain my trust and sorry that I broke your heart a lot of time. I still love you lot. Yes, Eve is a heartbreaker and to add to the list, she's flirtatious and selfish. But for this couple, love knows no bounds. Every time I want him to give him to me. Like, so he really uh, pampered me like a princess. Uh, like whenever I angry, he like try to um, calm me down. Every month, once I will have that very bad temper. So I will scold him for no reason. I never think of his feeling. So I am really shouting. As long as I can get out my anger, or I will pour all on him. So you can scold him like a lot of words that really hurt him so much. So, uh, at the phone, like maybe we'll um, like want to cry because of my words. I felt very depressed, uh. yeah, because of those words that she's going. Okay. I know I really too much, but after I cool down, I I'll message him sorry. But Robin never complains. So I think that she doesn't want to scold me. Uh, it's not intentionally, it's just some kind of moody. She felt moody then, so like sometimes I do things that she don't like, uh, so I'll just piss her off, uh, so she will get angry at me. Probably it's my fault. Uh, uh, cannot say it's only totally his fault. Uh. But that's not all Robin had to put up with. In the first year of their relationship, Eve was always suspicious. Last time I would be like very just type. And once he said go out with colleagues, so I hear a lot of girls and I say, why? Why behind got a lot of girls? And this and that. Because I don't trust him. So I thought he's flirting outside also. He never be like other guy. Say, oh, why you don't trust me? Then angry or this. No. He used his action to prove to me that he's really trustworthy. It takes a year, at least a year. Then I trust him. And for Robin to fully win her heart over, it did take him a whole lot of limping. Literally. Some guys like talk big. It's like they know, talk more than they do. So I don't really like this kind of guy. And I prefer more gentleman type. Then must treat me like a princess. Uh, must love me like the one do. He did one night. He, his leg is cast. And for the first night, he cast his leg. I'm having fever. And he just run in and out of the room. Yeah, never rest. Until I fall asleep and he rested. That, that, what, that part that night is really, really touching. So in this relationship of give and take, how is Eve changing for the better? I don't anyhow know people from online. Usually I will sneak out at night to meet guys. Like, uh, go East Coast to you know, have a coffee or what something. Not when your son was at home. Sleeping. Yeah, so before he wake up, I will reach home. <laughs> but now I don't. Because I don't feel lonely anymore. I have him. In this relationship, there's always a give and take. Yeah? So who is giving more and who is taking more? I'm taking more. He's giving more. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how he can take it. But I just tell him that I will try to give him more. I can. So I kind of feel guilty now. <laughs> Must control myself. <laughs> Every day, uh, I just wish to have him by my side. All this. Yeah, we wish to have more time for him, all this. Yeah, because mostly I'm the, I'm the one who don't have time uh, due to my son. Yeah, so I will try to find time for him. So. Ever since I know her, right, I didn't expect her to change for me. Yeah, she, I just want her to remain just like herself. Uh. But for me, uh, I will not do things that she don't like. I stop gaming already. I don't play games myself right now. Uh. Like, like I don't, I don't play those, I don't play play those games that she don't play. I will find games that we can play together. And that is the power of love for you. Up next, Razor TV talks to a young couple who's still in their honeymoon stage. Stay tuned.